What am I about to send to PSA? Well, we're gonna go through some raw cards really quick and find out. Let's go ahead and jump into it. These are all cards that I'm gonna be sending off to PSA this week, right before the Nashville show, and I've got a, a sizable quantity, so I wanna go ahead and get through all these. All right, first up, Michael Jordan Finest. Got a really cool 1998 uh, Skybox Thunder Liftoff Kobe. Seller sent this in penny sleeves. I've not reviewed any of these cards, so some of these cards may, in fact, be rejected. But for the most part, I think I'm probably going to send in the majority of them. There's, there's likely not going to be a lot of rejects just from some of the stuff that I've bought um, lately. Try to narrow down and focus on sets that I think are ultimately going to be gradable. And a lot of these you have seen previously. If you have been following on the channel, you've seen a lot of these come back slabbed already. So you can kind of see some of the things that I'm sticking to. Joe Maurer rookies from Topps Pristine, Hall of Fame inductee recently. Freddie Freeman recently showed on my live stream PSA 10s for this. I have a couple of different Travis Kelsey prisms. I've got a couple of those coming back PSA 10s. Then an X Fractor Topps Chrome. One guy who doesn't get a lot of love, Chris Jones. He's going to be in the media this summer. Um, hopefully, he gets a contract with the Chiefs. I think that eventually, given that he now has three championship rings, he's in that conversation for best defensive player in the league right now. Aaron Donald's stuff really spiked after the Rams won their Super Bowl. Chris Jones' stuff has yet to spike, and it's probably because you know influencers aren't pumping him, which is a great thing. So you can still get his stuff relatively inexpensive, or, or at least cheap. And this is one of his few – he has few rookies out there. He has a, a prism autograph. He's got optic – parallels, base, and autograph. Uh, he's only in a handful of sets because he's a defensive player. Again, you know, I think he's a pretty good one to buy, especially if you're a Chiefs fan. Ron Acuna Jr., I'm not really buying a whole lot of these, but they rarely pop up, so I still snag them every now and then. It's been a long, it's a throwback to me prospecting back in 2017, 2018. Patrick Mahomes Leaf Draft, three of those, cheapies. And a gold version, again, cheapy. Donner's Cl or Panini Classics, used to be Donner's, but now Panini Classics. So the majority of these, there is a lot of wiggle room in terms of if you get them graded PSA 10s, PSA 9s, you can potentially break even depending on you know what your cost to grade is. I'm going to likely be sending all these in at $19 per card. And this is likely the exact sequence that these cards are going to be submitted. I'm not going to, unless I'm removing something. This Illusions card, I've done very, very well with. It's an acetate card. thing you have to really worry about, again, a surface. You can go back through my videos. For, the long, for as long as I've made videos, I've, I've graded cards like this and have tinned them. Basically, the thing you got to worry about is surface. So I'll open that up and hopefully it's clean. Got two more Patty Optics. These are going to be borderline. I'm hoping I go 50% on these. Um, centering on these isn't ideal. It's a slightly off left to right, but it's probably going to be 60-40. And then the backs, I think, are going to be, again, kind of borderline as well. So if I go 50% on those, I'm happy. Honestly, if I get nines, I'll probably be pretty happy as well. Rookie Phenom jersey from Mahomes. Again, I bought a lot of these right after the Super Bowl because Super Bowl brings out a lot of inventory to hit the market. People think are thinking that they're going to cash in, and I just like to buy the raw stuff that looks good. Love this card. This is a super, super short print. It is not, oh, I don't want to show the next card. Ah, dang it, you all can already see it. I'm going to be part of the cool color blast club. This is not a color blast like this, which this is what all the people want to pump and hype. But this is a very cool, super, super short print. It's very unique. This is very collector centric. It's not flipper, prospector centric. I have one of these in a PSA 10 grade. They rarely come up. Um, this is commemorating the classic battle you know, in the playoffs from 2021, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just an incredible card. I love this card. Maybe it was 2020. It was the 2020 um, Classic Clash. What a, an amazing card. I love that. It's a, it's a great rivalry. Guys, I'm now officially part of the Color Blast Club. Officially part of it. Now, the reason why I did buy this, I bag on these inserts all the time. I think these are the most overrated inserts out there. Uh, that, along with Downtown and Kabooms. I actually like Color Blast way better than Kabooms and Downtowns. I would say Kaboom 1, Downtown 2, Color Blast 3 in terms of most overrated. 
The reason why I bought this, this is likely gonna be the book end of the Color Blast series, given that this is likely Panini Prism's last NFL licensed year, and it's the only one that's vertical. So all the other ones are horizontal. This year they have vertical ones, and very, very happy with this. Um, we're gonna see how it grades. It's got a little bit of a, a little flare there in, in terms of, um, forget there's an actual term that that's called. Um, I'm not too worried about it. PSA grades those as tens all the time. Uh, it's not necessarily damaged to the corner, so we'll see how the grader interprets it. Make sure I'm putting these in order. I am. Uh, next, we've got uh, just Shohei Otani, US one. That one's probably going to grade up pretty well. This card I'm probably not going to send in. I think it's got a, a dinged corner. Almost feels like every single time a card comes in a mag set or one of these uh, mag cases. It's like every single time, or the majority of the time, it's a damaged car. They're like, oh, look at my shiny case. And I'm gonna give you your card in a cool case, but the card's not in good shape. Usually always how that works. This is a cool one, Modern Marvel's Red, rookie number to 99. Really like that. Um, any serial numbered Shohei is great, especially if you can get one numbered low. If you tin that bad boy, it's gonna be great. Talk about a massive, massive card. Look at this. Oh gosh, this is sexy. This is a sexy show, hey. Autograph patch number to 15 from the new Tops Luminaries. What a beautiful card, man. Crisp autograph. Oh, PSA, you better treat this one good. You better treat it good. Oh, it's so, so sexy. All right, Colt Emerson, Bowman Chrome Sapphire. Got one of those, those are nice. Man, I'm, I'm, I get outbid on his stuff a lot, a lot. All right, so we're getting into the heavy hitters now. Now we're getting into some of the more in, in Fuego players. So this is a lot of Wyatt Lingford Bowman draft cards. Uh, yep, they are Bowman. I don't like to call them Bowman paper like everybody else. I think that's you know demeaning of the brand for the longest time they've called bowman bowman they didn't call it bowman paper up until recently until a bunch of flipper fools uh, decided to call him bowman paper and apparently that stuck i'm not calling it bowman paper this is wyatt langford's bowman rookie card so i've got roughly 20 of those got a refractor sold every single one of my refractor tins that i've just recently showed off in my uh, videos I've, I've sold every single parallel with the exception of the Prospector Special Die Cut number to 49, which I raised the price on to 1500 A gold PSA 10 number to 50 just sold for 2500 So, I mean, I, I honestly feel like I need to raise the price on that card to 1999 or, or something because it, it still may even be undervalued right now. I'm, I'm glad that I got another one of these. I did pick this up from a consigner, so I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that it actually looks very clean. For the most part, surfaces on these have, for the, for the most part, been really good. As long as you get a card centered with good corners on the back, I think that you're in good shape. So we'll hopefully, I'm fingers crossed, because I really, really wanted another one of these after selling my two PSA 10s. I think that card has a lot of room to go. It's one of the more rare parallels um, that's not numbered. And I'm also glad that I finally got one of these. Um, I don't know how this one's gonna do. Uh, like if you look at these borders, it looks a little bit more left to right, but then you jump down here and it looks a little bit cleaner. I don't know if it's the card's diamond cut or if you know, it's just uh, trickery with the eyes. Maybe I can line it up. Either way, I'm sending it in regardless. Wyatt Langford, this is the Sapphire Selections. I do have two of these autographed currently at PSA in assembly. And this is just the regular one. Also got these two from a consigner. Uh, just a regular sapphire and then the sapphire selections. This one again is also a little bit off-centered, but I have a little bit better of a centered copy here. So if I go 50-50 on that, I'll be happy. Now we're going to switch over into CJ. So I got a base CJ Stroud. Now we've got a couple of the parallels, which I have not gotten a chance to send in. This is the laser. Then orange disco. And orange disco probably gonna go 50% on the orange discos laser I may go I might strike out on I also really want these green waves to hit at least one of them so um, we'll take a look at the centering honestly I haven't really paid attention to all these all that much um, regardless I'm gonna send them all in the, these I did pay attention to I think I'm gonna go 50% on assuming there's no other issues with the card just based on centering alone I think it's gonna be a 50 50 hit rate that's a 9 that's a 10 uh, these are the silvers the true silvers 
Got the green wave prism break, and there's no horizontal bar going through it, which is great. Those waves are always prone to having those lines going through it. Prismatic, uh, this is the green ice. I think those do also well. I, I wish that Panini would finally, and maybe they're coming out in, in skews later on, but um, none of the inserts that Wimby has out yet have you know all these you know other parallels. Uh, for his insert cards, I mean, we got green and we've got basically the silver, which, I mean, I guess if they keep it at that, that kind of keeps it simple and that's what we're all asking for. So I just haven't seen any other cool uh, parallels. Rookie gear, CJ Stroud. This is the Neon Pulsar. I think the first one of these, I think I paid like 60 or $70 for. It's at PSA. I think this one I paid 30 So you can tell those things are, have definitely dropped in terms of raw price. This is a freebie. I didn't buy this raw, but it was a, just a toss in. I may end up getting it slabbed. I may not. I may use it as something I sell at shows. I uh, got a pink CJ Shroud optic preview. That one looks beautiful. And then we've also got the red green. That one is maybe a little bit more off top to bottom, but we'll see how she does. From the brand new Rookies and Stars, this is the Airborne insert number two, set, not 99. Uh, red. Yeah, I think it's red. Um, I've got a couple more inserts and serial number cards from Phoenix and Rookies and Stars in route. Love these. Got some yellow proof from Hoops, Victor Wimbignana. Now we're coming into the Victors. So Victor is the next player that will be hit in the order. So we're starting off with Hoops. We've got two proofs. And we've got his Hoops just base. This is a throw in from one of those guys. Now we're jumping into the Prism stuff. So Prism Global Reach, got some, a lot of those and especially the silvers at PSA currently. Here's another silver, maybe a little off top to bottom, but eh, who cares? Still gonna send it, it's Victor. Dude, it's a Victor world and we are all living in it. Emergent, centering looks okay, left to right. Man, I don't think PSA really knows how to grade these any of these inserts. I've seen tins that are all off center and I don't want to necessarily reveal what I'm looking at just in case any of the graders potentially stumble on the videos. Keep grading how you're grading, man. Keep doing it. Do what you do. Here is an instant impact green. Those are doing well. And then we got a bunch of these instant impact silvers. The last one of these sold for $468 in a PSA 10. And I have roughly five of them sitting at PSA right now. And then I've got these other three that are going. There is so much meat on the bone for, for Victor cards right now. I'm, I'm just pumped. I'm, ex I'm so excited. So excited. And PSA is turning around cards fast. Woo! Great time to be alive in the card hobby. Victor Wimbignana, these are the base. These things just keep going up. Centered copies keep going up. It is incredible. As more supply hits the market, the prices just keep going up. And it's very hard to find centered copies. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there who are grading have probably seen that. Uh, now we're gonna jump down into some of the cheaper victors from Monopoly. And I've been, I've been hammering a lot of these guys. Uh, there is gonna be so many cards coming in from Monopoly. Not gonna have many more of these starter decks. These actually are a little bit more condition sensitive and they don't pop up as often. So I actually think tens of these are gonna be limited and a little bit more rare. You can see he's got one of the goofiest faces in this picture. It is like the most retarded picture that I've ever seen. Kind of funny though, funny card. Oh no, this one's not in a sleeve. So seller sent me this in a penny sleeve. Thank you, sir. Uh, we've got three of these, even these PSA 10s. The first ones are hitting eBay and they are going bonkers. And these cards are cheap, so cheap. Still buying them, I've got so many coming in. Now we're gonna go into parallels. I've got some Victor parallels, it's currently sitting at, eBay, or, uh, at PSA. And I've got a numbered parallel that just came back a 10. Woo, can't wait to reveal that one. Beautiful upcharge on that from PSA. So we'll talk about that. So I have a, maybe one or two greens currently at PSA for one for sure. Uh, we've got these two and then I also have an ice that is currently at PSA and I've got three more in route and then I've got more that I've bought. And then the big parallel that I still have in hand that I need to get out is a true silver and this bad boy looks beautiful. I really hope there is nothing wrong with this card because based on centering alone, this is perfect. It is a beautiful, beautiful card. 
All right, so those are all the victors. Last stack. Last stack to go through. Which, it's going to be a player that maybe not a lot of people have, would have thought. No, there's some miscellaneous cards here first. But there's a player in here who I uh, haven't really shown on the channel. Who I have bought a lot of stuff. And you're going to see just how much I bought. Puka Nakua. Talked about him previously. Like that he broke the NFL rookie record for receiving yards. Hopefully I go 50-50 there. Cam Whitmore, um, he's a guy, he's a penny stock player in terms of NBA rookies. So we'll see how he does. I mean, the Rockets suck. This guy's probably not going to amount to anything, but people like to do penny stock NBA rookies. Um, just got a couple of these guys. I think there's a little bit of meat on the bone to get some of those graded. Now for the last player. And yes, it is my first ever female purchase that I'm going very, very heavy into, and that's Caitlin Clark. This is a freebie that came in with one of my other purchases, so that's why it's not in a penny sleeve. There's another freebie in there that, that is also the same. I'm a huge fan of Caitlin Clark for a number of different reasons. One, she is getting a lot of hate thrown her way, um, a lot of racial hate thrown her way from a lot of former WNBA players. I'm not a fan of the WNBA at all. They're woke, but it's great whenever you see an actual, you know, traditional female who is not only excelling at basketball, dominating at basketball, selling out arenas across the country. So that story and legend keeps growing and growing. She could have played again next year with the COVID eligibility, but looks like she's declaring for the, the WNBA draft. And in addition to that, these P the PSA 10s for all of her rookie cards are really popping off. Um, and I think that's evidenced by you know, just how much of a fan base that she has. Literally, if you go and look out, the highest ticket prices for a women's basketball game, college or WNBA, she owns like six or seven of the top 10 highest ticket prices. I mean, arenas are literally selling out across the country, which again, that's really, really cool, man. Really cool. So uh, whenever March Madness kicks off I'll probably watch my first ever women's basketball game for college and I may skip out March Madness for the men's because honestly who cares about it just by now you sh you're barely learning the players names and then next thing you know they're gone to the, the NBA draft and you know they've already made five or six million dollars in college and then they're going to make another five ten fifteen million a year in the NBA who cares no that, nobody cares it's not it's just not enjoyable or fun to watch um, we've got blue refractors. Just got these in today. Put those, knock those things down. Number to 150. Dude, the tins on these. Oh, tins are insane. Green refractor, number to 99. Uh, then we've, this is a freebie. That was one of the freebies. And then I did buy quite a bit of others. So base, 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 base. These are all from the same seller. Hopefully they're clean. I don't know if they will be. We'll see. Then we got some pinks. I like the pinks, especially for a female card. I think that's pretty neat. Base refractor. Then we've got a, I don't know what color that is. Blue, purple, sapphire. Uh, it's the purple, I think, number 399. Okay. These are the probably my most, the, the ones that I'm the most excited for by far. These are the variations. The reason why I'm excited for them, the last PSA 10 went for 500. The first year Bowman Chrome variation in a PSA 10 is an 800 to $1,000 card. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get a lot of these. I think I have a couple more that are incoming as well. These are gonna have a lot of meat on the bone, in my opinion. I really hope that they grade out well because they're, gonna, they're, they're definitely gonna be a money maker. Then the last couple are going to be just the regular retro. I love the 2007, 2008 Bowman Chrome design. Well, some of these are gonna be off-centered. So again, I got them all from the same seller, just made an offer and you know he sent me what he had. So I'm gonna send the ones that are uh, likely uh, the most centered. The other ones I'm gonna use at the card shows uh, that I'm gonna be going to. So I'll be going to the Phoenix show uh, the middle of March. And I think that there's gonna be a lot of people who want Caitlin Clark stuff. I saw a lot of it at Burbank. And I think as the March Madness is, we're going to be in the middle of March Madness. I think a lot of people are going to want some Caitlin Clark stuff. So 
Guys, that's all I got. Don't know how many cards, don't know the value, have everything in spreadsheets, but really haven't calculated too much of what the ROI on this is going to be. It's going to depend on the grades, but wanted to get these raw card videos out because I haven't done one of these in a while, and I wanted to just go ahead and capture a lot of these cards on camera. So let me know what you all think down below. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.